Time feels slower in the Highlands. It feels like you're just in this vast landscape and you've got time and space to explore and discover who you are and who you want to be without anyone judging you and or judging your process. Sketching is way more than just trying to paint a view in front of you. It's more about capturing that moment and the experience that you're in. Three, nearly four years ago, I was in London, getting on a tube first thing in the morning, being squashed and then <laughs> sitting in an office all day, trying to be inspired. It was just awful, <laughs> it was just awful. Uh, and just totally not right for me. Like for some people, they'd be like, why on earth would you give up working for a print studio where you can walk into a clothes shop and you can see your designs on clothes? Like that's so cool. It's just so much tension built up. Whereas now it just feel free. And if it looks bad, it looks bad. It doesn't really matter. When you're driving back to the highlands and you drive through Glencoe there's part where you drive through and you see the valley and it opens up and the only way I can describe it is that when I drive through that I feel like I can finally breathe again you know you, sometimes you do this like really deep breaths of relief and I think especially for painting and drawing and translating the landscape one of the main parts of it is slowing down and kind of looking and actually seeing, and seeing with more than just your eyes, and seeing with all of your senses and how it makes you feel. It was the first time in ages that I actually felt inspired to paint and to draw again, which then very naturally obviously just became the inspiration to it all. It is a, it's a, funny, a funny life up here, and I love it. crazy to think like four years ago like I literally hated colour which is just mad to think the difference now I can't think of what it would be like translating the landscape without it every page it's yeah I guess it just changes depending on the subject matter which is really nice um, and just not I guess not restricting yourself to defining yourself as an artist by a medium. Like I think that's one thing that I just really can't get on board with. And I, I can totally understand why people do it. But for me, I think, I don't think I'll ever kind of hone down into one medium and that be it. I think it will always change. Five years time, 10 years time, I could be doing something completely different. I could be making stained glass or, I don't know, making ceramics or working in pen again. I don't know, just that creative freedom to know that you're not limited to one thing and that defines you as an artist forever, I think is just really cool.